Hello everyone and welcome to Queen Talk with me, Wayne Stafford. There are so many questions revolved around the judging process of beauty pageants. What to wear, what questions to expect and how to answer. And then of course that top five dreaded Q&A section of any pageants finale. So stay tuned as I speak to one of the experts that's been in front as well as behind the judges table. Welcome back. It gives me now great pleasure to welcome to Queen Talk a former Miss South Africa, runner up in Miss World, a top five placement in the Miss Universe, a facilitator in education, a mother of three, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's none other than the beautiful Sonia Rasiti Ashri. Yeah, hello, Miss Lucas Way. Please take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Good, good, good. You look amazing as always. <laughs> I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> well, Sonny, gosh, it's been forever, ever, ever, ever. Please, won't you just share with the viewers how long I know you and where we first met? I think you were one of my very first interviews in 1999. <laughs> I'm not even doing the maths. <laughs> my word. 20 hey? something years ago. I know it's yeah, a long time. A long time, Wendy. We walked a road together. Mm, hey? mm. So now, listen, before we, we start chatting about the yeah. judging process in, in beauty pageants, what have you been up to? Gosh, all sorts. My three children have kept me very busy. A couple of greys coming here, but I'm not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've kept me very busy, I must say, and um, I've gone back to my passion. I absolutely love, love being in the classroom environment. I'm a teacher by heart. I think it's just born and bred inside me, and uh, every day I make a difference to many, many children's lives, and mm. there's nothing for me that is any better than that. It's it's real, hands-on, dirty, far from glamorous, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. Yeah. No. And uh, yeah, so I've been, I've been quite busy and uh, up and down with hubby mm. and in and out of different, um, uh, helping him sort of build schools and things mm. like that. So very much based in the educational field. No, that's awesome. Man. I've got the greatest, greatest respect for teachers. I really, really do. But now listen, Sonia, let, let's, let's touch on the judging process now yes. of, of, of pageantry. How important is the interview? Well, look, Wayne, yeah, I mean, I, I was principal judge for Miss SA for about seven years. So there's a lot that you look into when you're looking for a Miss South Africa. I must say the interview process is vital because this isn't, you're not looking for a model. This isn't about being a supermodel. You are a personality. You have um, background information and opinions that you need to be able to put forward. And the judging process and the interview process, we're trying to de sort of decipher how deep is your knowledge in terms of what you're wanting to portray. So yes, we can ask you a question and the girls can give us an answer, but can they take that to two to three degrees further? What, mm. what's the, what, are, what are they about? Who are they? You know, it's mm. a job interview at the end of the day. And mm. this essay is a job. So can are they the correct kind of person for that role? And the only way we can really tell mm. is by the interview process. The interview process is tough. It's tough because being this essay is tough. If they can't handle an interview process, it's going to be one heck of a year. Yeah. <laughs> so we like to sort of mm. not shake them a bit, but make it in reality, make okay, it sort of like as if it's real. Yes. Um, and that's the way in which we, mm. we really can determine your true personality. Mm. They always say, under fire, boy, then we really know. <laughs> <laughs> but now tell me, what, what advice would you give to someone that is preparing uh, for a pageant, you know, for an interview round? What advice would you give them? Look, it's, it's not something that you can just walk into and do it on a whim. You need to be able to research, research what portfolio you want to follow, find a passion, work within that, because during your reign, you take that and that becomes what we call our portfolio. So obviously mine was education. Some other Miss Essays might have been a cancer drive. It depends. Um, mm. And you need to look, you need to delve into that. How can you best use this platform to be able to make a difference in that space? Mm. Um, so you need to know what, what, you know, what you're up against. I remember I had a book 
of about 450 questions. Oh, my word. And, and not that I learned them, but mm. I had an understanding. So if mm. somebody asked me a question, I'd be able to say, well, this is kind of what I think about it. Okay, and let's, let's say they text me further on that. Well, this is my opinion. So you've got to be able to know what you're talking about. You know, mm. you don't, nobody wants somebody to say anything, oh, smiling. Exactly. Too, but we want depth and we want knowledge mm. and we want insight. So I think it's important uh, in a nutshell to have an opinion on yes. a variety of subjects. Yes. Uh, you yes, know, absolutely. what's happening in the world, in your country. Yeah. We want to know, do you have a personality? Can we mm. relate? If we can relate, South mm. Africa can mm. relate to you. Absolutely. Now tell me quickly, body language. Body yes. language. Yes. Can you read in an interview who is confident and who is not telling the truth? Absolutely. Absolutely. In mm. any interview. Mm. Interviews are an all tell. So you can get a girl who comes in and you can see she's completely rehearsed. Yeah. The way in which she sounds is completely rehearsed. What she's learned, she's trying to just regurgitate information. That's not what we want at all. That's never what we want. We want to know if we throw this at you, if I say to you, what's your best and worst word? Mm. Yeah, exactly. What can you yes. give me an answer yeah. to that? As crazy as mm. it is, it's because I know something like that would never be able to be learned. Um, and we're wanting to know your true personality. Mm. So in an interview situation, the best is that you remain who you are. And that's why if you pick a portfolio, that is something that you love. Um, but never research your questions to the point that you are re regurgitating information. Mm. That was, it's reality. It's that's real. What, yeah, that's what I was just going to ask you now. Yeah. Is can you be overprepared? Absolutely. And we see mm. it time and time again, these girls that are just completely overprepared and they lose their natural beauty, that mm. natural spark that mm. we're actually looking for. We are people. Well, the judges are people. Mm. And we we want to we want to relate. I, I won't I won't forget back in the days, then I would I would come to you yes. and I'd say to you, because remember when I was mentoring good ladies yes. from the CSA or from yes. the CSA, now come to Sonia, I go, Sonia, please, I need a few tips <laughs> on what or what I need to tell these girls. But I remember you saying so clearly, it's all about conversation. That's exactly it. It's mm. conversation. We want to have a discussion. Mm. Um, it's not, I ask you a question, you give me an answer. They ask you a question. Mm. That's not Miss Essay. And some pageants are like that. Mm. Um, but remember, this is at this age, that you know, they're between the age of what, 18 to 27, mm. you have more knowledge, you have more depth, you have, and we want to know about it. Yeah. So it's a conversation. Because I think a lot of them believe in this, there's a right answer yes. and a wrong answer. Yes, and there never is. Mm. It's very, ba it's based on opinions. We never ask facts. We very mm. seldom ask a fact. Mm. You know, that's, what is that really giving us? That's giving us that you've got a great memory. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> We don't know yes. you've got a great memory. Yes, yeah. We want to know your mm. personal opinions on mm. stuff. And are you able to hold a little bit of a debate? And if somebody disagrees with you, how do you handle that? Yeah, and for sure. does that shake you or does that encourage your conversation? Mm. And it's all conversation based. Yeah. And and tell me quickly, dress code. Yes. How important is dress code for an interview? Look, for an interview, it's your impression. So you've yeah. got to think to yourself, if I'm going for a job interview, what do I want to, what do I want to say about myself? There isn't a specific dress code because everybody has their own personality. Mm. As long as you're true to your dress code. Mm. So for example, don't go and dress. You've got a young personality, but you go in this frock. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Just roll yeah. that dress to mm. who your natural personality mm. is. It's an interview. You're up for a big position. So Dress obviously appropriately. Mm. We say no see-through tops. You don't want to see a black brush. And, and you'd be surprised if we get this. You don't want skirts that are tiny and short because you find it very uncomfortable to sit. And you can see the girls are like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, my darling, just relax. And they don't know what to do with those. Yeah. So you, you want to be comfortable mm. and that you can hold a conversation and we can see that mm. you're not intimidated. Mm. You know your stuff. You're not arrogant. That's that's a, there's a side. There's a difference between the two, um, but you're not intimidated. You're comfortable with who you are as a mm. person. And tell me, stage presence because you, you know it's, it's a glitzes, glams, yes. the lights, camera, action. Uh, how important is that presentation? Your walk on stage. Look, it's very important, and we always say Miss Essay has to. You, it's, the difficulty is is that you've got to tick a lot of boxes. Mm. So it's not only an interview, but do they portray well on stage? Because you're representing South Africa at Miss World and Miss Universe, and you're on stage all the time delivering speeches. So if you're not comfortable on stage, then that's also something we've got to take into consideration. You might blow us away in an interview, 
put you on the stage and you can just see this personality go like this. Yeah. You need to have your stage presence. You need to be able to interact with people from all walks of life. You need to be able to hold it and, and interview the conversation. Mm. Um, and I'll never forget, I actually sat in a meeting with the ministers of education. This was in 1999 and they wanted my opinion on you know, what they believed it, it was a, sort of in, in the educational spectrum. What, how could we differ things and how could we enhance things? I'm 21 years old <laughs> and I'm sitting with the ministers and I'm going, well, I've got the answers for you. <laughs> and you're going to hear it. Uh, yes. it's, it's, it's that kind mm. of thing. You need to be able to interact. But then the next day, you're going to uh, in your jeans and your shirt and you're going to go and dig a garden to help people learn how to plant seeds, mm. you know. So there is such a range that you've got to be adaptable. Mm. And that's what we look for. So we're looking for adaptability, but that stage presence, you've got to wow. You've got mm. to walk on and own it because yeah. that's the way you walk, the way you hold yourself, the way you talk on stage is completely differently to in an interview. Yes. Interview is about connecting one on one. Stage is about talking to an audience. Mm. You've got to be able to do both. And I was speaking about talking to an audience. Uh, you know, they're on stage. Yes. It's that top five dreaded <sighs> Q&A section. Oh, it is. So any advice with regards to how to answer that in, in the best possible way? Listen, <laughs> listen to the question. <laughs> there is no right and wrong answer. I mm -hmm. always say to the girls, listen to the question, stop, pause, and blah, 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 right now. Yes. stop, pause, formulate your answer in your mind and answer the question. Even if it's short, rather short than long. Mm -hmm. We don't want to sit and listen to a 20 minute speech. Mm -hmm. We want it to be short, direct, to the point and answer what you know. And you'll be surprised in when you're in, put in a position where your heart's kind of going fight or flight or yeah. you know, mm. it, that adrenaline is pumping, mm. you come up with an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, if you are well, if you know your topics and you're quite confident in who you are mm. and you're able to give an opinion, that won't be a problem for you. But what, what happens if you don't understand the question? Look, it is tricky. And they generally won't ask something that is that complicated okay. to the point that you can't understand it. Okay. There'll be a level of understanding, but it'll be something along the lines of, um, um, like I got an exceptionally tricky one at Miss Universe about the myth. What myth would you say <laughs> South Africa has? And I was like, well, is that a mistake you just asked me? Like, what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> what myth? <laughs> And then I just spoke about the people thought that lions walked in the road because yes, I, yeah, that was something was that brilliant. completely mm, threw me. Mm. But you had to make up mm. an answer. Absolutely. You know? yeah. So, yeah, you've got if you know enough and you feel confident in terms of your opinions, you'll be able to answer mm. it. There is no right and wrong. Some answers are going to be better than others, and it is that's just the way it is. But mm. uh, very seldom have I ever seen or judged a pageant where a girl completely flusters that last question. By that point, they've been so well prepared mm. throughout the three months that they've been training for this that they're able to cope with, with the anxiety that comes on being on stage. But, but would, would you say that that final question is your make and break? It can be. Okay. It can be. You know, if we've got two girls, for example, who are Thai or yeah. who are super close in terms of point, that can be your changing factor. Right. But it isn't the determining factor of whether or not you have got the position of Miss SA. It is a, it is a factor that has to come into consideration because if they completely mess that up, which very seldom they do, but if they do, that has to be weighed in. So there is a weighting to mm. it. But it's like, it's like saying, you know, to, to a high jumper, you give them three chances to be able to perform their best and you take their best results. It's not fair if we've had a whole three months yes. and then we just judge it on that final question. Yes. We have to allow for all the other mm. um, all the other S categories, categories or, to, to yes, kind yeah. of take place yeah. and, and have waiting to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there's, there's a big movement around uh, international pageants and recently with, with, with Miss South Africa as well, is where the ladies, the top three, the final three do a closing statement. Right. So after they do the top five Q&A, then they do their closing statement as one of the final three. What important factors do you think that the ladies need to take into consideration there? Because they, they decide what they want to close off with. Sure. I think just to leave a little bit of what you're going to be able to contribute. Mm. People always like to hear that. Like, mm. it's not about me. It's not all what I want. I can help you with this. Mm. I can help with this. And this is my drive. This is my love. Keep it short. 
just so there's a couple of pointers, you know, keep it mm. short, talk, don't talk about me, me, me and I, what mm. can you do, what can you give, and a little bit of a, almost like a, a little punch, like a mm. little, mm. this is who mm. I am, mm. I'm quirky, I'm vibey, mm. this is my personality, and I believe that I'd be able to take this job on. Mm. That kind of approach. Mm. Something that people are also going to remember them with. Well, that's the thing. You know, by, I mean, yeah. After my question at Miss South Africa, I had Nelson Mandela phone me uh, when I got home. How <laughs> horrible <laughs> Picks up, picks up the call. Yeah. One minute to the president. And I just said, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm waiting. And there's a countdown. And then I hear his voice. And he speaks to me. And he said, that answer to your question, he was so impressed. Uh, and it was short, special. to the point. Mm. It was a quote I'd remembered. And that was it. I wrapped And in fact, I actually thought to myself, I think it was too short. Okay. But there wasn't such a thing as too short when it's powerful. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Tell me quickly, Sonia, social media yes. is, a, is a big, um, well, I mean, it's something we, we li we're living with in today's age. Now, yes. can that, your, your social media platform, can that bite you in the tochas? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a sore tochas. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yes. If it's Look, not handled correctly. My day, we never had that. We never mm. had social media. I mean, mm. I'm now like 20-something years ago. We never mm. had that. But... Mm. As a judge, I did use it as a platform to be able to look and because what you are portraying to the world is your personality. And if we see pictures of you hanging all over the boyfriend and lying on the bar, and that's going to have an impact, you know, because mm. if we're seeing it, that is going to be in the newspaper the day after you win this SA, and yes. there's going to be a beautiful spread of you all over <laughs> the table. So we do yeah. look at those kind of factors. And it's mm. fair enough, the media has to look for this as well. I mean, this is what they do. And so we kind of look, what are we looking for? Are we looking for, what is your page telling me? Is it telling me that you can take this position or not? Mm. And, and those are factors that we do look into. But it isn't the be all and the end all. We understand these girls are young. They've lived a life. Many of them haven't even thought of entering Miss SA until a year back where they go, oh, I actually think I want to enter Miss SA. They're young. They don't realize that their past might have a play. So mm. I always say, if you're wanting to enter these kind of things, go into your Facebook, go into your Instagram and just clean it up. Yeah, yeah. So, so what, what qualities would you say makes a, makes a real winner? Your, that, that's the most difficult question. Always, there was a saying that I always used to know. It said, um, a model can be made, but a supermodel is born. Mm. And it's a similar sense to this, mm. is that you can have lots of beauty pageants, but your ultimate winner and your Miss Worlds and your Miss... There is a star above them. There is something you can feel it even when you're speaking to them. And when I remember with Yukta Mudli and I would have a chat with her, I felt that regality in her that I could just pick that up. And there is just something. It's but that being said, there are you mean there's there's bennies who entered mm. two or three times and they won it on the third time. Yeah. There is this can be worked on. Um mm. you're approachable person who has um a kindness of them, you know, mm. genuineness, a kindness, who's relatable, who, um, beautiful. Yeah. Beauty is yes. a big part of it. Yes. I mean, it's a beauty pageant. It has yes. to be a big part of it. Yeah. But beauty is, but beauty is different for every country. Mm. So, you know, it's, 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 it's a tricky one because some might feel that that is beauty and that isn't mm. beauty. You will own your beauty and that will be mm. seen. Mm. So, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a lot. <laughs> But I'll, I'll never forget also when I was telling you back then, you used to also say to me that a, um, a queen is born. Yeah. She's that's born. It. She's born. It's just, it's a done thing. It, it really it's is. It's in the genetic born. makeup. It's They're amazing. born to, to wear the crown. And and, and, and each little box is just ticked because there's, mm. a comfort, it, it's, there's a comfort in that. But that being said, there are, I mean, mm. I've known girls who've mm. come and tried again and they've just grown from strength to mm. strength and they, they get it. They just, it, it develops. Mm. So that is a beauty. I always say you, when you crown them, as they say in the beginning of the year, you've got this like little diamond and by the end of it, it's like a rough diamond yeah, and yeah. you've got this perfectly shaped, mm. gorgeous diamond yeah. that you just can't wait to wear on your finger. <laughs> and it is, it's a process of mm. grooming and and um, training and elegance that comes you know, through this. A lot of these girls don't know how to network. Big part of this is networking. Mm. Um, how do you network? How do you sell your sell the brand? How do you sell the country? Uh, overseas. I mean, if you're going and you're talking about um, um, uh, tourism in South Africa, what are you going to say? What are you going to say that's going to want somebody to come here? You know, yeah. because the, the, the news that's out there is negative and there is fear. How do you break that? How do you encourage? 
all of that kind of stuff. Mm. There's a lot to it. So, I mean, I mean, you know, the beauty pageant industry is massive, Huge. massive, massive. Mm -hmm. So what, what is an appropriate age, would you say, to enter into a pageant? Look, I would say around the age. And I, I can't pinpoint because you can get an 18-year-old who blows everybody away and yet you can get a 25-year-old who blows everybody away. But I generally say when you feel that you're at that point that you know who you are, mm. that's the right time to enter. Mm. It's very difficult for me to say you must be 23, but, but I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, um, I was young. I was 20 when I won. I mm -hmm. was very young, but some Miss essays have been older. Mm -hmm. So when you are at that point, you will know when you are ready mm -hmm. to face what comes with this, because this isn't one event. It's not the stage. This is a lifelong choice. Mm -hmm. It stays with you forever. You're forever known as that title holder and how you want to portray the rest of your life obviously is entirely up to you but the girls who enter always say if you're going in that direction you're probably going to head on in that direction so are you willing to stop what you're doing for a while whether it's becoming a doctor put that on hold go another you can always come back to it later mm. and and your take on girls that that enter pageants like six years old or ten years old what is your feeling? What is your feeling? Because you've got a daughter. What, what is your feeling on it? And I would never enter her. Okay. Never ever enter mm. into those things. I believe I, a child should be a child. Okay. They must get dirty. They must play. I don't want them to worry about those kind of things. Mm. This is my personal mm. opinion. And, yes. I, and I don't offend yes. anybody else by, yeah. by saying it. But my personal opinion is my my daughter. I've got gorgeous dresses for her. She wants yeah, to wear I, shorts I and play soccer. So, okay. <laughs> you know, it, 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 each child, if that's a child's drive, you will know. All right. Um, um, but I would never say, put your child into it if they don't want to do it, because all it does is create anxiety. Then they don't want to do it later when they perhaps are ready for it. So if they say, oh, I love this, I want this stage, and you do get those littlies who just want to go on stage, and that's what, that's their drive. Okay. That's that's mm. my opinion on it in any event. But no, I wouldn't, even if I wanted her to, she wouldn't. <laughs> she <laughs> do her gymnastics. <laughs> Tell me, will we see you back on the Miss South Africa judging panel soon? Who Knows, who knows? I mean, I'd love to be right now. It was good that I took the break, break needed yes, that break. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of work, yeah. you know, there's a lot of traveling to all you travel all over South Africa, it takes you away from the family. And the time that I stopped, I needed to be with my mm. family for a little bit. Yeah. And um, I, you know, they were at the, I had lots of littlies, and my littlies needed mommy, yes. so yeah, I, I've stopped when I need to, but I. I'd love to. I love judging. It's mm -hmm. something I enjoy. Um, mm -hmm. We've had phenomenal results over the past. Our girls have done extremely well. I know. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm very, I'm very proud of them. But now speaking of those results, yes. you've obviously, she's uh, Sonia's mentored a lot of the Miss South Africa entrants um, over the years as well. So what, what was the best advice that you gave them? I think I gave each one something that I saw was their strength. Okay. You know, funny enough, my mom, when we were growing up, she recognized the strength in each individual one of us. And she would say, you're good at this. My sister's a phenomenal singer. My brother's an excellent hockey player. Hone in on that strength. Okay. And that's probably what I would suggest with all of the girls. And, and that's what I have done. You're phenomenal on stage. Use that as your strength. You're excellent with your interviewing. Pull that into networking. Mm. So if they can apply what their strength is, they can only shine. Mm. And I also said, do not compare yourself to everyone else. Remember, you're looking at that going, oh, she's so gorgeous. And looking at, but they're looking at you going, oh, she's so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. so never compare. You mm. don't know what the judges are looking for. Mm. It could well be that a different panel of judges might give a different result. Mm. You don't know. Mm. So be your best and just shine through your own strengths. Mm. Yeah. Tell me, Sonny, what, what, what is your mantra? What is your quote that you live by? You know what? It is a quote that I've always loved. And it was a Bella quote. I was a ballerina from the age of three until I was Well, that ends your posture, you know. <laughs> oh, my daughter. And of course, of course, my daughter won't yeah. do it. <laughs> How it be? But just a saying that went, um, don't be afraid of life. Believe it is worthwhile and your belief will make it so. And I think that applies to absolutely everything in today's day and age where there is so much anxiety and there's so much fear around all sorts of things that we do. Don't be afraid. You have to delve in and take, life is worth, you have to take the risks. Without mm. risks, you get nowhere. Mm. And so that has applied to me in every part of my journey in life, whether it's been getting married, having children, um, changing careers, it's applied to me. So that's one that I can say has really, out of everything, has actually really stuck by me. 
Listen, Sonia, it has been the greatest pleasure. I'm sure many of you viewers and people at home will now get to know exactly what it's all about to take part in a national pageant like Miss South Africa or any other big pageant. Well, Sonia, thank you so much for joining us. I think everyone at home has got a good insight on what to prepare when doing a national pageant like Miss South Africa or any other pageant. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's good seeing you looking you phenomenal. Too. You can see why she is where she is and why she's achieved what she's achieved. So until next time, from me, Wayne Stafford here with Queen Talk and PPMC South Africa. Take care.